Hey YouTube, it's Michael W here of itsmichaelw.com and today I'll show you how to set up parental controls on your Kindle Fire using Kids Place with Child Lock which is available from the Kindle App Store for free. So um, the installation just completed and you know it's very very straightforward. Once you launch the application for the first time it'll just ask you to enter a four digit passcode so you know I'm just setting that to one two three four and you know in addition to that you could also put a hint as well as enter an email address to have it sent to you should you forget it I'm not doing that in this case one two three four is easy enough to remember uh, the last thing to do is select what applications you want your children to be able to access so it has two tabs at the top all apps and selected apps so you know within the all apps it shows everything I have installed and I'm just going to select two things that I want my children to be able to access now if I wanted to cut this list down I can go over to the selected apps tab and then you know it just shows what I selected at this point you're done once you bring up the menu and click the back arrow you'll be greeted with the kids place home screen where you see what you've allowed your children to access so in this case I'm going to go ahead and launch what's different and you know let's say my child played this application and then they were done with it what you would normally do is click the home button and as you can see it says action not allowed redirecting to kids place so it does briefly show your home screen but you can't do anything there so at this point I'm back within the kids place home screen and you know I'm contained to this area there are a couple other options such as if I wanted to set the wallpaper to something other than that I, you know if I had some more pictures up here I can go ahead and change that I can set a timer if I wanted to, you know, lock it after a certain amount of time, etc. And, you know, that's the main thing for the most part. To actually exit the app as an adult or someone with a password, there is an exit button at the top left. And once you enter in that four digit passcode, you'll have full access to the device. So at this point, I'm at my normal home screen. I'm going to go back into the application now and. Basically, as you can see there, everything is back up. I'm within that contained area. I can't exit it. Action not allowed. So, you know, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's all I wanted to show. The um, last thing that I want to just make you aware of is, you know, in the event that you didn't have a, you know, a lock screen password set up on your Kindle Fire, once, or if, you know, the kids were to use it for an extended amount of time and then, you know, it shut down by itself. Once it was charged and it came up, you would have full access. So, you know, it takes a while for it to load, so I'm going to pause this video and then resume it once it's up. Alright, so the device is back up, and, you know, as I said, if you didn't have a lock screen password enabled and the device was shut down and restarted, then, as you can see, you would have full access to the device. It doesn't, you know, take you back into the, the Kids Place app once it's relaunched. So, you know... One other thing, if you're not aware of it, if you go into your settings at the top and then more, and if you go down to your security tab, you can set a lock screen password. And if you did that, then you know, once the device was restarted, you would be required to enter a passcode in order to access the device. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. Like I said, you know, the way the Kindle is designed, you can, you know, potentially just click on an application that costs a lot of money and then you purchased it. Or, you know, there are some maybe some questionable content that you don't want your children to have access to. So, you know, I think the combination of a lock screen password and this child place lock is definitely the way to go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope, as always, this video helps you. Thanks.